channel today is my first of many hair tutorials and super excited about this because I'll be showing you guys how I achieved this distressed butterfly locks um, hairstyle I will say I use the term hair tutorial loosely just because it really is just a trial and error and more so um, showing you guys what I did and then reflecting on that and telling you guys some do's and don'ts for butterfly locks because I feel like everyone that I watched <laughs> when I was watching these tutorials acted like this hairstyle was so easy took no time blah 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 but child I <laughs> me and my mother went through some struggles so first you'll see um me and my mother doing our first attempt and then afterwards I'll come back and tell you guys some do's and don'ts and some lessons that we learned after that first attempt first things first before we get into the video I do want to give a huge thank you to Janet collection thank you so much for sending me this water wave hair you guys I've been wanting to try out this butterfly lux style on myself for so long and then Jana Collection reached out about collabing and I was like oh my gosh it's perfect I need some hair to do this video that I've been wanting to do for so long because butterfly locks of all the rage so yeah if you would like to hear some do's and don'ts and also my trial and error of how I achieved this then definitely keep watching so I'm going to show you guys how um to install them and how to wrap them so that you get that distressed butterfly look first things first you need to just go ahead and um part your hair into individuals and um for crochet hair today we're going to be going in with water wave hair you always want to go in with water wave hair janet collection was really nice enough to send me um 10 packs of their water wave hair 24 inches the color one um so that's what we'll be using today so what you'll need is your um crochet hair and a crochet needle so my mom is going to insert the hair for us so that I can show you guys how to wrap it around. But these are the individuals that we'll be showing you all how to do today. Um, and these are how the, here's how the locks are looking. So what you're gonna do, are you going through the braid, like underneath the braid? Mm -hmm. So what you're gonna do is go underneath the braid and we take about two strands of the water wave hair, kind of fluff it out. Check out what's going on what's going on oh okay anyways what 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 is this is the camera making you nervous or what is this how it's supposed to be okay so which one is it this one where's the braid okay so you're going to take about two strands of the water wave hair just crochet it through your braid so look I can like move it or whatever and so what you're gonna do is take the piece without your braid and just twist so as you can see I'm just twisting it around making sure it's really tight because after you kind of let it go it really shrivels up and kind of curls up into that butterfly lock type of look so as you can see all i'm doing is holding one stationary and then twisting the other one on top so it's not simple it takes a long time um because i've been doing this for like actually how many hours have we been doing this maybe two Maybe two hours and we had about 40 braids. <laughs> That's what you said? 40. 40, like my oh, whole yes, head. Yes, yes, yes. Show here. Ha ha ha. It's not funny. Ain't nothing I funny. I thought you said 40 braids. That we've done. Breaks. Oh, uh, breaks. No. We, I have 40 braids in my head right now. And so it just depends on how thick your hair is, how long your hair is. My hair is really short. So Okay, so this is about the length. So let me show you guys what I do at the ends. So what I'll do is literally just go back up. Like once I get to the desired one, I'm literally just going right back up and twisting it the other way. Probably shouldn't have wore a black shirt, but sorry, babes. So I'm just going back up. And this is where I'll like leave a little like curl out so that it looks distressed. And then I'll just like kind of form it together. 
And I'll just twist it right back on up. Once I get to that desired length, because I don't want it to go longer than the other ones. This is the final lock, you guys can see. Distressed, I kind of left out one of the curls, so that looks just like very cute. We'll take two different um, waterway pair. Like I said, I use Janet Collection. This is in there 24 inches. And you're just gonna like separate it a bit. So you're just gonna pull the hair through. You'll have two. So you'll leave the the um, crochet hair with the braid stationary and just start wrapping, chap. Start wrapping. Alright you guys, so that's it for today. I will come back when my hair is fully done and make sure to check out Janet Collection. Again, I am using the Water Wave 24 inches color one from Janet Collection and that's the hair that you want to use when you're doing this because you want something curly um, and not like super straight. It has some texture to it so that you're able to wrap it around and it stays. Okay guys, so you just saw my first attempt and after that, I literally got home and I had to cut out all those dreadlocks, which was not necessary at all. And looking back on it, I actually regret doing that because I basically did the same thing when I was going through and um, doing this second attempt. Because I didn't film the second attempt because I was getting overly frustrated with the process i did want to come back and not just scrap this video idea as a whole but i want to come back and tell you guys some do's and don'ts um of butterfly locks and what they don't tell you about the style you definitely want to use water wave texture again i was sent these um about 10 packs of water wave hair from janet collection and it worked perfectly like you really do want um, a water wave texture because texture matters. You definitely want to go in with a water wave texture um, because it just made for a very realistic dread. Um, and also, you don't want to go in with some silky crochet here. You want something that has a little bit of kink to it just so it can look as natural as possible. It also makes for a really pretty like some of these I have a curly end um, and that's all because I have a water wave texture. I definitely recommend the Janet Collection um, water wave for this because it literally is so cute. It worked really well. The first day that I put these dreads and i was getting compliments we went to that store where everything costs five dollars and below you know what i'm talking about and the security guard there was like oh my gosh wait what hair did you use i was like jenny collection what a wave um and all that did was wrap it around and she was like okay um and now i like went to go back to get a cart for my sister and she was like okay so how did you do this again because i'm about to steal your style and i was like sis I am having a YouTube video all about this style on my channel, so tune in. <laughs> yeah, this style is super, I wouldn't say easy, just because you guys will see in the first portion that I thought it was easy, but it's not as easy as it looks. But um, Water Wave is definitely the best texture to go with, and I use Janet Collection. I used about, I think, seven packs, and I had nothing left over. Um, and I used two strands for each dread. Next do is definitely fluff your hair so you guys saw in the first portion like i let you guys know that you should use two strands of crochet hair per dread and you have to make sure you fluff it that's really important let me tell you why some of my dreads i did not fluff it as much and i learned that if you don't fluff it then you're not going to get the um size of dread that you want the more you fluff the bigger the dread will be um, and I wanted a more chunky, so some are more chunkier than others because I didn't fluff it out as much. I wasn't consistent with the fluffing. I was the one who was fluffing, my mom was wrapping, and then I was sealing them um, at the end. And I'll let you guys know how I sealed them because, child, in the first attempt, I was just wrapping around and that's for the birds. They do not be telling you the truth when they be talking. <laughs> that's why I'm here, to give y'all the real the real deal okay uh, i keep on talking with my hands i'm sorry one time like i had finished like sealing it um like i said i would fluff my mom would wrap i would um finish the dread to make sure that it wouldn't come loose so you see how this one is like completely 
sealed it's no curly at the end you know what i'm saying so i got one and i was like this is so tiny compared to the other ones and she was like it wasn't fluffed enough like if you want it to be all the same you have to fluff it the same so then i tried to be consistent with fluffing so that's a do now i feel like no one else told me i was watching everybody's videos no one was like be consistent with the fluffing because it affects the thickness of the dress no no one told me that so i'm telling you guys okay <laughs> last do is definitely use nail glue to seal your dreads you all every almost everyone almost every um butterfly locks tutorial that i watched everyone was like oh the hair just magically seals itself you don't have to do much they literally were like rub it together and it literally just stays no sweetie you need some nail glue i use the um kiss maximum strength nail glue and this is how i sealed my dress after my mom would finish wrapping she would give it to me i would make a knot through the dread and then i would just cut the extra hair seal it with nail glue the nail glue is super important because it makes sure that it seals it all together the hair is not naturally going to just mold into the dread like it doesn't work like that you really do need to use the nail glue to seal it you really need to use the nail glue to seal and to um hold your dreads um and you can still get that distressed look with still having sealed dreads like sweetie um and the last thing don't try to be perfect like for me i really wanted just perfect dreads but this style is supposed to be messy it's supposed to be distressed it's supposed to be you know boho chic kind of you know what i'm saying so don't get all worked up if all of them aren't the same size if all of them aren't the same length honestly um that's what i wish i did a better job of is making sure that they were all the same length because mine are definitely not but i feel like it's okay um it's supposed to be like that not perfect hair and it's so cute i don't think i will do this again um just because i, I mean i won't say i'll never say never <laughs> i'll never say never but i just feel like it took so long and that's why i prefer crochet styles i believe that brands will start to come out with new crochet styles for butterfly locks so I feel like I will kind of go to that more than actually sitting and doing it in my head because it took longer than I expected. Honestly, because I do have this one test trial under my belt, it might be easier for me to do it the second time around. But right now, I just like this took so long um, for a short hairstyle <laughs> um, and something that I'm not going to keep my hair that long. I don't think I will keep my hair in this style for that long. So I just don't feel like it's worth my time to sit there and wrap every single one yeah i think that's all my tips for you all definitely let me know if you try the style um and check out Janet collection not only are they known for their water wave hair you guys can definitely do so many looks with this water wave hair if i didn't use all my packs on <laughs> this trial and error i definitely would have also tried to do passion twists so you can do so many different styles with water wave crochet hair you can also just crochet that hair into your hair and that could be a style as well um but Janet collection is known for so many different styles they have braids they have crochet braids they have um crochet hair they have wigs um and everything and more so definitely check out Janet collection also let me know down below if you plan on trying this style because it's super cute i feel like it's more like a summer thing but it's still cute right now I don't normally wear it down. I usually wear it up like this. Honestly though, I do have like a bob. So you could do more different styles if your hair was longer. But my hair is like, my hair is always short. So I have to do this little style that I could do and call it a day. Honey, this one should have been up there. So cute. I love it so much. I honestly, though, I don't feel like I'll have it in that long. But who knows? I'm going to be here next week talking about, hey, y'all, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> haven't tried to put it in a bun. Like I said, because my hair is so freaking short. Maybe we'll definitely do it in a bun too. Like, her. Oh my gosh. That's so cute. 
<laughs> no, it's not. Definitely let me know down in the comments if you are thinking about trying this style. If you do, let me know. Um, and tag me in any of your recreations. I would love to see them. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye, guys. She's still gone.